Okay everybody, well um, Steve here again and I'm now at Meningi. I uh, arrived here quite early actually, about uh, quarter to three this afternoon. The wind, as you can see, the lake is just like a mill pond, it's just virtually no wind at all. So I uh, came in under motor, uh, so I was a bit quicker than what I had planned. But I'm just relaxing and getting a few things tidied up and whatever. So I thought I'd make a video <clears throat> and uh, take you for a bit of a walk through the boat. Um, I'm not the best video uh, filmer guys, so bear with me. But I'll try to point out some of the features uh, that I find really beneficial and, uh, and, and that uh, make this boat really something special. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, Firstly, uh, <clears throat> I'll start at the aft end. As you notice, I've got my boomkin and my mizzen mast. <clears throat> the mizzen on this, <clears throat> pardon me, the mizzen on this boat works really well. Um, it just acts, acts like a bit of a weather vane when you want to park in the wind. Um, it doesn't actually uh, point it straight into the wind because you get a bit of windage on the on the uh, freeboard, the uh, cabin sides and so on. So what it does is it ends up uh, parking the boat into the wind about, oh, I suppose about 40 degrees off, <clears throat> 30 to 40 degrees off the wind. So it sort of heaves too with just a mizzen um, hauled in tight. Um, I've got my motor, the little Parsun five horsepower four stroke. Uh, works really well. It's run like a dream. I've had to use it a fair bit on this trip. The winds have been very light. Um, I've done a fair bit of sailing, but uh, <clears throat> there's been periods of you know an hour or more, a couple of hours where the wind just absolutely dies. But the, uh, the Parsons motor works really well. The only problem is, and you might see that on the rudder, I had a bit of an altercation with the motor and the rudder. What I was uh, supposed to do was to mount the motor where it is there. Uh, which is far off to the to the starboard but I actually had it mounted a bit further inboard and unfortunately with it mounted in that position it will it will hit the rudder and uh, I was doing a fast or quick turn with the rudder and it uh, hit the propeller so I've got to do a repair on the rudder when I get home nothing that a bit of epoxy won't fix um okay so now we've got the cockpit and you'll, this is a good view of the cockpit from here. <clears throat> um, you'll notice the footwell, which I think is a great idea, even if I take credit for it myself. Uh, it just means you've got uh, somewhere very safe to stand. Um, it uh, it just gives you a, a central position in the in the cockpit uh, to be able to attend to everything, where you feel really safe. You don't have to stand up on the deck very often. Um, I have actually, you don't, can't see it there very well, but I have actually got a drain plug there. Um, if you undo the drain plug while it's in the water, it lets water in. But uh, <clears throat> at home, uh, for instance, if, uh, if it gets a bit of rain in it or you want to give it a wash out before you go, that's a great place to wash everything into and it just rain, drains out. <clears throat> you know, I've got a bad voice. I haven't been talking to anybody for a couple of days. So I've got a bit of a frog in the throat. Um, yeah, you can notice the, the little uh, 10 watt solar panel there. It's uh, doing a good job, just trickle charging the battery. Okay, let's go down and into the boat. Ooh, sorry about that. Okay, here's the cabin. And uh, you'll notice that I've got a few bits and pieces there. I've got the porta potty and I've got a water container. I've got a one of those caravan pumps, you know, caravan type uh, water pumps, and all I did was drill a hole in the top of that lid for that container, and it screwed straight in. So very handy little tap to be able to dispense water in the boat. Um, I've got my folding chair, which is fantastic. Um, just really comfortable place to sit, and uh, without having to sort of crouch down all the time. A little. Um, little folding table which uh, I use to put a cup of coffee on or whatever I uh, can also do a little bit of cooking there heat you know just put a brew on a cup of tea coffee something like that um, I've also got a folding table a larger folding table that I showed 
in a photo that I posted to Facebook and that's where I do my cooking and eating and all that sort of stuff um, I'll come in and show you the other bits this is the electrical switch box switch box and uh, works really well got all the all the wiring to all the different bits and pieces got my VHF radio there fire extinguisher <coughs> um, and not much else at the moment but I am planning to put a, a little galley in here uh, probably on this side the starboard side um, so yeah that's pretty much it oh this this little strip light uh, strip lights for the interior lighting they just plug into the USB socket Get it in there. There we go. And you can see the strip lights working there. It's pretty handy. Only problem is uh, in warm weather it also attracts all the bugs. So I've actually found that putting a lantern outside in the cockpit area, letting it shine in, it gives me enough light to do most things and it keeps the bugs out there too. Um, I don't think there's much else really to talk about. Um, other than maybe the little anchor well that I've got in the front. This is Miles Bohr's idea, which is a great idea. Um, excellent way to store the, the anchor. And I think that's about it. My VHF antenna, which I can obviously stand up uh, to, uh, to radio. And I think everything else is pretty much uh, as it's meant to be. So, all the best. Thanks. Bye.